what is going on guys in this video we are going to implement mvvm pattern in our android application it is not a complex concept as lots of developers say if you understand it is very basic and simple concept to implement in our application so let's start implementing this with new android studio project Click on new project, select empty activity that is Jetpack Compose activity, click on next. Let's give the application name as MVVM demo. Menu SDK let it be 8.0, build configuration language let it be the recommended one. Click on finish. It will take some time to create the project. Let's understand the architecture. So what is MVVM? It is just an architecture to separate an application in three different components. So what are the three different components? First is model, second is view and third is view model. So what is the view? view is just the ui of the application so whatever you see on the screen that is the view and second component is view model and third component is model so we have this three component view model is just the bridge between the view and the data from wherever we will get the data it will just act as a bridge between view and the data so in model we can get the data from anywhere it can be either local or it can be the remote so here we can write let's write here model here in the model we have two things that are local and let's say it can be remote so we can get the data from either local or remote so how we can connect between view model and this data we can have one intermediary that we can call it as a repository so this repository will take care from where we will get the data so it can be either from local or it can be either from remote so for this what we will do in somewhere in the remote repository we will store the user data let's say user data which will have just uh, let's say name and the age this will retrieve this is the user data that is stored somewhere in repository that can be either local or remote this will be stored somewhere so from view we'll create a button here here let's say we have a button get data whenever we click on this get data in the view it will call the view model and then it will call the method from repository which will face the data that is user data name and age and it will provide to the view model and from view model if we have the data we'll show it in a ui as name whatever the name is let's say john and age let's say 25 in this way we will create the example so this is only the mbbm architecture we have view we have view model and we have the model that means it is a MVVM. So let's implement this in the project. Let's get back to the project. Our project is created. Let's run it and test it. Either it is created correctly or not. So we can see hello Android. That means it is created correctly. Let's get back to the project and let's delete this composable and also delete this greeting composable. So first thing what we will do, we'll go to the project over here and inside the package, we will create three packages. So what are those? First will be view. Second will be view model third package will be model so we have view view model and model so for this application what we will do we'll create one ui one view model and we'll create one repository so we'll mock this so what we will do in model i'll create first a create kotlin class call it as user repository what this user repository will have it will have function fetch let's say fetch user data and it will return the user data so we'll create a user data which will be a data class we can create over here or we can create a separately let's call it as user data it will be just a data class which will contain two things that will be name string and also let's say age let's store it in int so we have the user data that is a data class so we want to get this data from either api or the local so it will return user data over here so this function should return the user data from either local or the remote so how we will do that we'll just hard code here we will not call any api let's say user data will be returned as name will be john and as let's say 25 so this is the data we are getting from the api let's say so to mock the api what we will do we'll add some delay about 2000 millisecond that means two second and since it is an api call it will take some time we have to set it as suspend function so this will be called in coroutines now we have repository ready We'll create a view model so let's go to view model create let's call it as home view model to create a view model we have to extend it from view model class that's it now from here we will call the method of repository so how we'll call we'll create a variable let's say user repository user repository equals to user repository now here we should get the user data so that we can provide it to the view so for that what we will do we'll create private value user data which will be mutable live data of type user data and we'll expose this variable to ui through user data which will be of type live data user data and it will return 
this user data. So we'll expose this variable to the UI. So with this user data variable, we can show it in the UI. Now to get this user data, we have to call from user repository. So we'll create a method function. Let's say get user data and here we'll get the user data. Let's call it as user results equals to user repository dot fetch user data. Now it will show the error because this is a suspend function. We have to call it from coroutines. So for that we have view model scope dot launch. It will launch the method in coroutine. Let's cut this and paste it over here. Now we'll get the user result. Now we can assign it to user data. So dot post value that will be user result now from remote repository we have got the data and we have assigned it to this user data now we can expose this to the ui so that it will be visible in the ui so let's create the ui for this so let's go to the view now let's create the ui so let's call it as home page which will be a file and we'll create composable that is home page now here we can create column let's add modifier to this modifier equals to modifier dot fill max size vertical arrangement will be arrangement dot center horizontal alignment alignment dot center horizontally so here we'll add just a button so button which will have text of let's say get data and on click of this button we have to call the method that is in view model so from ui we'll call this method get user data so how we can call this method with the view model so here we require view model that will be of type home view model you can minimize this now with this view model we can call get user data so now we will get the user data in this view model so how to show it in the ui we will observe this user data as a state so here what we will do value user data equals to view model dot user data dot observe as state we have to add the dependency for this if you hover over here you can see we have to add this live data runtime dependency click on this so our dependency is added now we can use this so what we will do we'll just show it in the ui let's say if user data dot value dot if it is not null and we have name inside it then we'll show text let's say name and we'll concat name so now it is connected we have created the user repository which is getting data from the api from view model we are calling this repository method and from the ui we are calling this get user data which will get the data and it will be reflected in the ui from main activity now we have to call this home page so in main activity we have to call this home page let's pass modifier equals to modifier dot padding as inner padding and second parameter will be view model so how we can get the view model so for view model we'll create the view model so home view model equals to view model provider owner will be this and the type will be home view model class now we'll get the home view model we can pass it over here now if i run the application so you can see we have the get data button initially we don't have this user data that's why nothing is visible when i click on get data let's click on it after two seconds as you can see we have the name john and that means what happened when we clicked on button it called the view model method that is get user data and from here it called the repository method that is fetch user data and it got the data from api this we are mocking so let's say mock api so here you can get the data from retrofit or firebase or any other api here we are just mocking the api so from here the name is displayed at zone so what we will do we will also display the age over here below it let's say age and here we'll call it as age if you run it get data now we have got the name and age so if you have noticed when we click on get data after two seconds the data has come so we can show the progress bar till our data loads so for that what we will do in view model we'll create a variable that will be private value is loading let's say mutable live data it will be of type boolean and we'll expose this as is loading live data of boolean equals to is loading first we'll assign it as a false when we are getting the user data it will be post value that will be true that means is loading will be true so when we are done with getting the data what we can do here here we can make again it as false so that data loading is completed it will be false now in the ui we can show this let's absorb this as a state as well is loading equals to view model dot is loading dot absorb as a state now here we will use in this line if is loading dot value if it is true then we will show circular progress indicator else it will show this data let's cut this out and paste it over here now once loading is completed it will show the data now if i run click on get data you can see the progress 
and after two seconds we have the data so in this way what we have done we have got the data from remote api with the help of this repository that is user data repository and from view model we are calling the method of that repository and on click of the button in the ui we are calling the method of that view model which will assign that data in the user data and we are observing in the ui so that it will be displayed in the ui so in this way we have created model we have created view, we have created view model and all the integration is working. So this is the MVVM. We are defining the view, we are defining the view model, we are defining the model. We are separating our application in three components. So if you learned something from this video, please hit the like button. If you have any doubts and queries, please comment below. I will reply for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going. See you on the next video. Bye bye.